This Thursday, it's warming up, and I tell you what, perfect thing for summer, banana pudding. So we're gonna try out Paula Deen's banana pudding. You just want an excuse to eat more pudding. No, I don't want an excuse to eat more pudding. That's just crazy. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell. And stick around to find out how it turns out. Did someone say banana pudding? Somebody did say banana pudding. Oh, well. Ooh, I felt the cool breeze come from that side. Yeah, well, you know, maybe someone was staying in the AC office. Yeah, that's... The outdoor kitchen. Because <laughs> it's warm. Yeah, yes. But yeah, banana pudding. What better to have, right? I, I have been craving this for some time now. Me too. I love banana pudding. So, what are, what are you doing right now? You're getting some bananas ready? That's right, I'm gonna chop up some bananas. Cool. Cool. Well, while you chop up some bananas, I'm going to mix up some banana pudding. Well, French vanilla pudding. Oh, it's French vanilla? Mm-hmm. That's the secret. <laughs> well, we need to put our crackers out. Yeah, we do. That's the difference. Instead of vanilla wafers, uh -huh. we're using these Chessman crackers, which are very good. They really are. I do like me some crackers especially the chessman ones but uh since i already added the milk to the mix i'm gonna go ahead and mix that up <laughs> not very prepared today well it's a little hot so mix away yes we're using an instant pudding not a cooked pudding and we want to make sure this is nice and mixed which but you can turn, it is turn the level down a little low if you want well i mean i think it's i mean if you think i need to do it more that looks good you may have turned it down but all that did is make it spew more i don't know how that works but that's what happened oh, you stealing a cracker oh broken mm. All right, so yeah, it says lay down a layer yeah. of crackers. You wanna do a layer of crackers on the bottom. Almost like a tiramisu, right? Yeah. You wanna have some layers in there. And then a layer of bananas. Mm-hmm. I guess you could say like a lasagna. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we just need to get some yeah, of these nanners in there. One of them down. Just like this. I tell you, this just says summer picnic everything i love banana pudding me too if you don't like banana pudding what what are you doing <laughs> i don't know but some people don't like bananas and actually you don't really like i'm not bananas. a big fan of bananas except i get uh, cravings for bananas yeah and what better way to crave bananas than in a pudding yeah that's right Ugh, it's really are annoying though why they're sticky yeah they're sticky and slimy feeling <laughs> well you're not really selling the recipe are you <laughs> <laughs> poor paula dean uh -huh. all right that's probably good okay why are you sweating it's not that hot in here yeah it's it's pretty warm it's pretty warm guys so now we're adding our cream cheese it's cream cheese and condensed milk condensed milk to a separate bowl that's right. Why and we, dirty one dish when you can dirty two? That's right. That's right. <laughs> Paula Dean wants us to do more dishes. And then I'm going to use this little spatula here to get all this out. Yeah, just go ahead and throw these bananas in there. It's banana pudding. It's not. Right. I mean, it doesn't have to be pretty. Come on. Yeah, it's going to be covered up. That's right. As a pudding. Now, this would be fun to take to any potluck. Or just make it for yourself. Mm-hmm. That's right. But I think it is officially called Nacho Mama's banana, banana pudding. pudding. It is true. And so far, she is telling the truth. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not. not. <laughs> okay. Right. And important, you really want to make sure your cream cheese is fully softened. Yeah. Very important. Yes. Otherwise, it's a nightmare. 
Okay. All right. Go, hand that to you so we can get that mixed in. Yes, and we're gonna take, and we found this really cool, it's basically a cool whip, whip topping. Yeah. But, even though it's still bad for you, we did find one that is uh, non-GMO, it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup. Yep. I can actually read everything in here, very short ingredient list, you know. Yeah. I am an ingredient list reader. Exactly, and so, yeah, it's not like healthy for you, but it's, it's healthier. Much, yeah, it's much better than the chemical Cool Whip brand. Yeah, exactly. And we let it thaw overnight instead of keeping it in the free freezer. We put mm -hmm. it in the fridge just per her directions. And, and then, now we're gonna fold. Yeah, we're just folding in the cream fold, cheese. Just and fold it over, move your bowl, fold again. Yep. Fold. Beautiful. Look at that. There we go. This is... Mm. I think this is gonna be pretty good. I think so. It's smelling good. I mean... And I'm working up a sweat. So I'm getting an appetite. All right. <laughs> Look at that. that. Nicely folded. Yeah. It probably doesn't even have to be like no, fully cause... combined because you want maybe a little bit of Cool Whip, a little bit yeah, of. Yeah, because we're just going to. Because you're still going to add your pudding yeah, to you're... that and mix that together as well. Beautiful. There we go. Look how simple that is. I mean, this is also, I really love. Yeah, we. Uh... It's a lot of, a couple extra dishes, but really, this it's, is it's easy. really not bad. You probably could do this out at a campsite or really anywhere. Yeah. And just throw it in your cooler, let it set up. Yeah. Hell Which, yeah. with instant pudding, you probably don't even have to throw it in your cooler. It's because it's looking like it was yeah, look at getting that. nice and set up. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh. That's, That's good. looking good, dude. She said just stir it together. I'm doing a little stir fold method. Awesome. Whew, working up a sweat. Yeah. It's time to get some banana pudding. Yeah. That that really kind of really blew up. Look yeah, it did. Like that got like fluffy. Mm. Oh, yeah, that, that's gonna that be is, good. That is good. And while you're starting that, I'm gonna get our second pack of crackers ready. Just pour it right over in the pan. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I am going to gain some weight this weekend. <laughs> we just might. Is this single serve, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to smooth this out on top. Look at that. Okay, Miss Dean, you know what you're doing. I'll give you credit. Sometimes I question you, but okay. Yeah. For the most part, I would say she knows what she's doing. I mean, she didn't get there for no reason. No, that's true. All right, and I will save this for later. Wow. Cool. So now, we just want to take these and do another layer like we did on the bottom. Oh, that is looking good. Mm-hmm. And these kind of will give you little portion sizes. Yeah, I'll give it a little four. Four. There we go, awesome. Do, do, do. All right, so we're gonna get those layered up, and then the best part, we get to try it. If you're not ready for it, just cover it and chill it, and then when you're ready, pull it out and eat. Yeah, exactly. But we use that instant pudding, so that sucker's set. It is. It looks good. Uh, 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 you, you don't get any. Got here, little fly. Well, we're back, and this is the best part. We get to try it. Ooh, that is, without doubt, the best part. Now, I was thinking, my first impression was, man, you know, with Nilla wafers, you get more of, like, when you're scooping it, cracker per bite, probably. But it's pretty nice, because with these cookies, you, you get... top and bottom. Well, yeah, and it, like, kind of portions it out for you, too. And when you get it on your plate, you can just see, there's your crack spoon, the cracker. Here's my spoon. Just like that. You see that? There you go. Oh. All right. Okay, get you a bite. Come on. Okay, I can't lie, that's really good. Yeah, I would like, I want to not like it, but that would <laughs> just be lying. Mm. Mm. Wow. A little bananas in there. Mm. That French vanilla gel mix. Mm -hmm. That's good. I know a lot of people use that banana cream. I think the French vanilla and whew, 
Yeah, it's, it is rich. It's very rich, but man. Mm. It really is so good. It just. I don't think they understood what I said. It's yeah. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. But, oh, man. And those crackers are really good, too. Mm -hmm. It's definitely different than doing Nilla wafers by far. I like it. Yeah, me too. I'm a fan. Mm hmm. All right, Paula Dean, you won me over. Yep, I would say it did turn out delicious. Mm hmm. I would highly mm. recommend giving this one a try for sure. That's good. We finished that whole plate on camera. I know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm about to finish this as mm -hmm. we can. So don't forget to keep it trendy. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.